In this demonstration I'm going to show you how you can use a macro to open up a report and I'm going to be using Access 2007 but this will work for any version of Access as well. So what's a macro? Well a macro helps us to automate features in our Access database so we don't need to do any programming or any, any hard stuff like that because a macro will take care of it for us. So the report I'm going to be opening is this one here called Employee Address Book. So the first thing I'm going to do is create the macro. So we come up here to the top here where it says Create and click on that tab. And then come along right to the end to this section that says Other and select Macro. And we've got a column here called Action, this one called Arguments and this one called Comment. We can see more columns by clicking these buttons here but I'm not going to be showing conditions so I'm going to take that off so really these are the three columns that I need also add macro name in there so the macro name I'm going to give it is open open employee address report we just expand that a little bit and the action is actually what we um, want the macro to do so if we click this little arrow here it gives us a load of actions and the one we're looking for is one to open up the report and there's one right here called open report so I'll select that now if you come down to the bottom here you've got something called action arguments and the first one says report name so just click on that line and then at the end here just select the report from the drop down list so we're looking for employee address book here it is the view that I want to show it in is gonna be print preview and that's it really so now I could just save this and I'll give it a name of macro test, click OK and now just close down the designer and I'm just going to run it from a form so I'm going to create a brand new form so click, click the create tab up here come along to form design and click that now I'm just going to drag a command button on there but before I do that I want to click this button here that says use control wizards so once we've clicked it it's going to go orange and then I can click the button here. So all that, all that's really doing is turning on the wizard to guide us through. And here it is. So we've got categories here and actions. So because we're dealing with macros, we want to select this one called miscellaneous. And that will change this box here. It gives us a few options. One of them is run macro. So I'll select that and then click next. And here's the macro that I'm looking for macro test was the name of the macro that we saved and within it I gave a macro the name of open employee address report so we select that click next and I could just for now select the text there I could change this as well but I'm going to leave it as it is I'll run macro click next and just click finish here and here's our little button just expand it out a little bit now if I run this form and I click the button the macro starts to, to work and it's actually opened up our report so we can do that again, click the button the macro runs and opens up our report so you can really add that to any of your forms and uh, open up whatever report you want to and you can also open up forms as well so that's, that's just a quick demonstration of how a macro works if you want further information then come along to my site and have a look at my ebook. Thanks for watching.